What's good, YouTube? Mike here with another reaction video. Today I'm excited because we have something brand new to the channel. It's by request and it's a fingerstyle guitarist by the name of Elite Bata. And uh, judging by the numbers he's got on his videos, I'm guessing he's pretty damn good. So, uh, from what I could uh, tell just by looking at his uh, YouTube page was that uh, he does covers of popular songs. And there were many to choose from, like Bohemian Rhapsody and uh, Celine Dion. And uh, I think I saw Patience by Guns N' Roses. But I chose Sweet Child of Mine because I'm somewhat familiar with that song. So uh, if I have any hope of explaining what the hell he's doing, it would be with uh, one that I'm already somewhat familiar with. So I uh, went with the easy route. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see how he does it. All right. What key is that? That's it right there. Right, okay, so it's in, he's playing it in F. The uh, original key is D. He's playing it in F, uh, probably just for the ability to use this whole fretboard or whatever I'm sure he's gonna be going off here um, it's an F and he has his capo on the third fret so that tells me that uh, that he is he has tuned his guitar down a whole step so instead of you know his low string being E A D his low string would be D, G, C, etc. All, all a, a full tone lower than a standard pitch for a guitar. So let's see. Let me just to illustrate. I, I'm not going to be able to do this, but I just want you to understand how hard this is. So he's just hammering each note on. I can't. My pinky's a little too weak to do it. And then, and then he comes in with the big F. Uh, what's uh, All right, and he's doing that. Something like that. Something like that, something to that effect. What the? But, and he's doing that super hard, that at the same time, like. Ah, what the? What the? Okay, and now, from what we saw, then he, he's settling into more of a finger style pattern after that. Let's see. That one little spot, though, he doesn't do uh, the right-handed tapping for the bass notes. Wait, where was it? Yeah, right. So this is all tapped. See, right there you go. Instead of tapping it. Okay. Interesting. I would... I think more linear... Uh, in a more linear fashion than that. I would never think to do some of it tapping. 
and then some of it like that. But I would never think to do any of this, so don't go by what I'm saying. Before we get into the verse, so just what he's doing with the uh, bass note pattern, right? So, uh, what's it? So, can you, you gotta see my thumb. So he's just tapping out the beat. So he's doing that. doing the so and he's finger picking the at the same time while running the keeping that bass line and snare drum sound which he gets the snare drum sound is by just just t touching the strings like a slight little whack on them it's not uh, it's not an aggressive uh, movement at all his jumps out a little more because he has reverb let me get up. I'm just getting up close to the microphone here so you can hear it. Doesn't take a whole lot to get that sound, but it, uh, you know, it, there's a pocket. This is amazingly executed so far. Oh my God. So solo number one. Oh yeah. So pretty. before we move into the solo section here. So the arrangement of the original song is intro, verse one, and then that little uh, chorusy part, down, down, oh, oh, right? Then there's a little solo, verse two, another little bow, bow, but that's twice as long. Then another little solo, and, or in, and then it's another guitar solo rather. And then, uh, so what he's done is he just skipped verse two and went straight from first uh, solo into the next 
little chorusy part. The whoa, whoa, whoa section, if you will. So now, now is the interesting part, the guitar solo. This is amazing. Did he just do a tapped harmonic? Not a tapped, I mean a, uh, I'm not sure what the name for them is. Anyways, it's, uh, uh, where did he do it? He was at fret two? Uh, right, so here, let me, basically, if you go up 12 frets from a, whatever note you're fretting, you will get an octave higher if you just touch that note, right? So this note is an octave higher. But you can just, there's a harmonic on the string right there. And so I'm using my thumb. My finger is touching where the harmonic is right now. And my thumb is behind there to pluck it. Okay. You understand? So I'm getting this pitch, but I'm playing it down here and getting a harmonic here. Right. I mean, I suck at these. Um, I only know them in concept. I never use them. I never use them in application. So, the fact that he's put it right in there in the middle of a, you know, means he's quite confident, comfortable with them. So smooth. This is so pretty. Has Slash ever heard this? Slash needs to hear this. Good Lord. This is his creation but done in a way that is, oh my God, what a different, it's the same melody and harmony, as far as I could tell, but it is so rich and pure and wonderful. I don't know, you, chick, you pick an adjective. It is all of those. Oh my God. I got to hear the solo again. It is absolutely beautiful we're going back we're going back folks One. Can't believe that. Right there. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. ending it there and he ends it with another one of those harmonics that one was uh was it there no he was doing a different har yeah 
I don't know. I can't find it. There's a, a different harmonics happen at different uh, intervals. So I didn't. Uh, I'm not a master of harmonics like this man is. So. Come on, man. Take it easy on me. Don't want no haters in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Down in the comments. If you didn't like it, just press the press the dislike button twice to really emphasize your point. And uh, for those of you who did like it and found value in this uh, evaluation and reaction to uh, Alip Bata's finger style guitar playing, please subscribe. You know, it'd be nice to have you. We do lots of fun stuff around here. And uh, other than that, if you've already subscribed, then uh, maybe you could like the video. That'd be nice. And uh, oh, yeah, in the comments, if you made it all the way to the end here, put a yo down in the comments. And that's like our secret code. Then I know that you made it to the end and you have an informed opinion. You feel me? Bye. I'll catch you later.